Hello, this is not a spring chicken. Yes, the yes men get it. No, what are we talking about? Oh yes, Michael Jackson's doctor found guilty of involuntary manslaughter, which I don't know about you. Were you thinking that was going to happen? Hmm. Well, for now, we're going to bring all the camera with comments on the headlines of today. <laughs> Did you put them in your fingers? Yeah. Let me just remember. <laughs> you know, I know. I just want to introduce the latest member of Monty's extended family. This is the 800-pound gorilla Obama. Shot across room. It'll do 50 foot, folks. <laughs> Obama's pipeline dilemma. Oh, yeah, he's put it off until after the next election because he does not want to cause the people on the left to be upset with him, even though it will cost 22,000 people jobs and they're going to shift the uh, pipeline to another area. Other than that, he's done nothing. I mean, they said. Uh, that they're looking for the day he actually starts acting like a president instead of a campaigner in chief. They said, you know, there is something about you're elected to be president of the United States, not to run a political campaign for four years. Oh, really? They're really, the people are really pissed off about that. I know we, that's the phone that we can't do anything about, so. Yeah. <laughs> because that one, that was stuck in here. It's just, yeah, little ring. Basically, they know we, they, they, um, it's Monty probably calling us to tell us we've been using one of her family members in a derogatory manner. Oh, him. and Herman, the right rises up against candidate Herman Cain. Well, yeah, okay. Uh, you have people like Bill O'Reilly, Charles Krauthammer, um, and others at the at the top of the of the, um, the the right of the Republican Party that basically would put it. I can't say that they would be okay. I, here, actually, I can say this. They said. Their hoods and uh, hoods and capes were showing a lot yesterday. Oh. Yeah, you know, as they're talking about the fact, well, it, 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 there may be not we, there may be nothing to this, but we can't see where they get anything to gain out of what they're doing, so it must be legitimate. But we can't prove that Cain didn't do it, so therefore we must assume that he's guilty of something that happened 13 years ago, which no charges were brought by, and charged by a woman who's already made a history destroying uh, conservative political candidates. Mm -hmm. She doesn't go after Democrats, only Republicans, folks. Oh. And there's never any, uh, nobody ever settles. There. Okay, um, the woman that she did, the Whitman thing, was basically going to jail for falsifying all kinds of information. They said virtually everyone that Gloria Allwood touches ends up in trouble. Well, isn't that how she got them in the first place? Yeah, but they get in worse trouble because uh, like this woman hasn't had a job for 13 years. How's she making money? 13 years? Hadn't held a job for 13 years. Was she married? Had a 17 year old son by uh, where she wasn't married. She has no variable source of income and yet she, she dressed well and all this stuff. And oh. they're, that, they're gonna start the investigation now. Well that's the problem that, that they don't think about. And it's not the people on the right that are starting the investigation. It's the people on the left that generally run the uh, Oh, the really? Cause, yeah. Well, they smell something because it's not right. Well, because they worry about okay, what happens is called protecting your backside because they know that if Allred gets pissed enough, she'll go dig up somebody on them and they generally do what they're accused of doing because they have a long history of complaints. Well, they're probably easy to find stuff yeah. on. And Dipping Dots file for Chapter 11 bankruptcy protection. Well, it's a really, okay, people would buy Dripping Dots in grocery stores and they didn't sell well. The reason they don't sell well is because, and I found out last night, you have to keep the dripping dots in a hydrogen uh, container or a nitrogen container at 40 degrees below zero. And you don't, you don't have facilities in grocery stores or homes for 40 degrees below zero, so therefore they melt on you. And people don't like, because well, we've done it, they melt in sort of big messes. I know, they were good right when you got them. Yeah, but then right. after that, they, they're not good, you can't store them at home, which therefore made them only a gourmet thing and it wasn't enough people to go into the malls and stuff to buy them because they were kind of expensive. Newsmaker Greece's pa uh, Papandro socialite Scion failed to buy. Huh? What? Well, I, I think you got the... Social... Okay. Newsmaker Greece's uh, Papandro socialist Scion failed to buy. 
Um, okay. Well, oh, that, that's what's on there. Okay. It, it, it looks like two news items. Okay. Oh. Okay. The uh, Papandreos uh, is a socialist, and he, he's the head, was the premier of Greece. He's got, he's got to step down. The only problem is that neither, none of the people will agree on who's going to be a new prime minister. So um, it, 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 it's a disaster over there. But don't worry. Even though the even though they said that if Greece defaulted, it was going to cause a major disaster. Our stocks are just going crazy again. You know, Italy's getting ready to go down the drain. On the news that Italy will be the next to default, our stock is getting higher. We're looking at it. We're, we're, we're looking. Remember, this is the headline that they predict. Earth to be destroyed in the next 24 hours as asteroid hits it. The world entirely to be disintegrated. Market is 20,000. Mm -hmm. Iran's Ahmadinejad defiant as U.S. raises heat paper. Well, yeah, well what's going to happen is they're going to, they're going to, the United Nations, because the Muslims are very unhappy about a nuclear power, nuclear uh, Iran, are basically going to let the thing come out by the guy that couldn't find any nuclear weapons. Uh, you know, the guy that wanted to be the president of, um, of uh, Egypt, but was told, no, you're, we don't want you because you, you know, you can look at a nuclear bomb and not realize it's a nuclear bomb, so. Mm -hmm. But they're going to put it out that they are building nuclear weapons. It, who, just, uh, even, uh, I think, even the 800-pound gorilla that's sitting in the floor would understand that they actually are building nuclear weapons over there, folks, and they're going to fire one. And it's not a matter if, it's when they're going to fire one, and which, Okay, okay. What do um, extremist Muslims and Democrats on the left have in common? What? Um, they would actually light the fire that destroys themselves. Oh. I mean, they're gonna. Okay. Here's what happens when Iran fires a nuclear missile into Israel. What? Israel has got far more nuclear weapons. They'll fire them into Iran. The Chinese will fire them into Iran. The Germans will fire them into Iran. The French will fire them into Iran. We will fire into Iran. And uh, basically, you're, go you're going to have a nuclear inferno in that country. They'll get one shot, and then the world will destroy them off the face of the planet. It will mean there'll be no more oil in the Middle East for 30,000 years, but Oh. And Obama, well, well, we become a green world then. No. Then we drill in the United States, who has the largest, okay, the United States and Canada have the largest oil preserves in the world. I know, and we get it from other countries. Yeah, we get it from other countries. We can't even get Canadian oil because Obama won't allow the pipeline to be built here. <laughs> yeah, well, because the left has environmental concerns. Well, We've never had one of our pipelines leak. That's a BP pipe that leaks in uh, up in Canada. That is not our pipeline. We don't build pipelines that are bad. Mm -hmm. And Insight Euro has new Politburo. Oh, we already talked about that. Yeah. Eurozone countries could split since Goldman Sachs executive. Yeah, because of the fact that uh, uh, okay, uh, Greece. I mean. Uh, it, the Germans are going to throw Merkel out because they simply are tired of her spending money. The French are bankrupt because they're trying to bring their, their, the socialists are trying to bring uh, spending for social programs under control in France, which means he will be thrown out. And it looks like the guy that at the moment the favorite to become the next uh, the next president of France is guess who? Woo! The gentleman Get. that Obama had thrown in a jail cell because surprise, he didn't agree surprise. With Obama. Isn't that amazing? And Mar they say he's got bad taste in women, but he's still a Frenchman. They don't okay. They don't vote against you because you really have bad taste in women. Well, at least Sarkozy has better taste. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but it's not going to keep him in office because Sarkozy never saw a dollar that he didn't want to spend. Where the other guy should have been a Scotsman because he never saw a dollar he didn't want to put in a savings account. Oh, protesters circle the White House and oil pipeline row. Yeah, that's and they won the battle. Obama basically. Uh, he will de he will destroy the economy of our country for the next year. And I heard that talking last night. They said that he he's running against uh, he he can't run on a platform, so he's running against letting uh, doing nothing because doing nothing will cause the destruction of the country economically, and therefore he will win the election as a result of destroying the economy himself, which. They said that doesn't make any sense, but to the people of Obama that are worshiping, they're going to elect him anyway. Mm -hmm. And the first glitch for Boeing Dreamliner at Japan Airport. Oh, God, here you go. Why are they going to have to do the Sepulveda overpass? Sepulveda overpass? Mm -hmm. 
Oh, don't they have to reinforce it or tear mm -hmm. it down? Or they have to. They have to widen it and reinforce it. Guess what they didn't do? Oh no! So what happened? They flew it in. It, uh, <laughs> they flew it in. It's too tall for any. It, there's no. Uh, there's there's no space for anybody to get off. It's too tall, and it crushed the thing under its weight. When it flew in? It crushed tarmac under its weight. Oh no! Other than the no. fact that okay, you would have thought since they knew the Dreamliner was coming, they would have built. A they would have built it. They did. They didn't build a tarmac. They didn't build an area for it to set the park in. And no area to park in. You know, people are very unhappy about you know climbing out over things and and basically okay. And that's basically what all the VIPs had to do, because there was no way of getting up. The, it's a uh, it's it's like two stories above anything that's currently built anywhere. And a Monty bubble is from the Mark Twain of the Animal Kingdom. Oh, this is a good one. That no, no matter how old you are, there's never enough time to get done what you have to get done. <laughs>